here again with another video ask dad today we're going to do something a little different we're going to talk on the whiteboard this is the whiteboard in my office uh, over there is my desk right over there where i typically uh, make videos but today we're going to use the whiteboard you can see over here you can't see over here but over here i've got a bunch of sticky notes where i keep track of things uh, my disney cartoons and stuff all, all around the whiteboard but uh, today we're going to talk about uh, the Caribbean Beach Resort. Here's the question. It comes from Melissa in Pennsylvania. She says, we'd like to try the Caribbean Beach Resort for our vacation coming up in February. I have a child who tends to get motion sick if on a bus for too long or lots of stop and go action. Is there a better location in this resort to stay that will minimize the amount of time spent on a bus? Melissa, let me just say right up front, no, there's not. Um, it's just not the way it's laid out. It just doesn't work. And let me explain why. Here's, here's the Caribbean Beach Resort. It, it's, uh, this is not a great picture. I'm not a great artist, but uh, let me kind of explain how things work. This is the front entrance of the Caribbean Beach Resort. And if you come in, you'll go around. Uh, this is the customs house. Um, here would be um, Port Royal up here. You know where you've got the food court and, and things like that so this is kind of the outline the, the problem is buses come in here at this little entrance right here instead of at the front entrance so they come in here by jamaica now you would think that jamaica would be a great place to stay if the buses are coming in right here by jamaica that doesn't work it just doesn't work the problem is when the buses come from the parks, they come in here, and they go around here, and the first stop is Trinidad South, which is not real close to Jamaica. And then they go to Trinidad North, Martinique, Barbados, uh, Aruba, and then to Jamaica, and then back out. So if you're going to the parks, Jamaica's a great place to stay. But if you're coming from the parks, Jamaica's kind of the worst place to be. But for the Caribbean Beach Resort, there's really not a good place to stay um, <clears throat> for, for bus service. It's just not. And that's one of the reasons I really don't like the moderate resorts, is the bus service. They, 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 the stops, it's just not the best place to stay if you're worried about how long you're staying on a bus. If you have someone like your son who can't stay on a bus for a long time, um, it's just not a good option. Um, Cornell Springs might be a better option if you can get um, over by the main building. Uh, it's still, it's still not the best option. The the Value Resorts, pretty good option because there's only one bus stop at the Value Resorts, um, so you don't have any extra time on the buses. Two standard rooms at the Value Resorts, about the same price as is a room at the Caribbean Beach Resort. That's why we stay at the Pop Century. We, we, we stay at the Pop Century even with bigger kids because we could get two rooms and um, it was the same price or maybe even a little cheaper than, than the modern resorts. Now the family suites, that's a different deal altogether, but two rooms at the Pop Century might be a better option for you than this. I tell you what, give our friends over at Destinations to Travel a, a ring. You, you'll see the URL coming up. Go over and, and give them uh, a shout, fill out the form there. They can help you. They know these kind of things. They can really help on what is the best option for you. Uh, thanks for your question, Melissa. I appreciate it. The bottom line is no, there's really not a good option for, for what would be better for you. You're gonna have the same number of stops no matter which section you stay. I hope that helps. Have a great day. Bye-bye.